go. Hi, this is Legacy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to do a good, uh, easy craft. We are, and we got from Dollar Tree, six bucks total. Um, what we're going to use is blue floral, white floral, and gold floral. Two salt and pepper shakers, one butter dish, paintbrush, primer coat, green metallic, blue metallic, and gold. Stick around, hit the subscribe button, and let's get started. everyone, welcome back. Um, you need an adult to clip the florals because they're too hard to clip and you might get hurt. So you cut them in different lengths and then you stick them in here. And then you have two choices. You can either paint them or leave them plain. Your choice. So put it together. Show them what you want to do. We just thought that the lids could be excellent little legs. Yeah, place that underneath there. To make it a little higher. That's an idea. It's cute. Yeah, we could do that. So we can leave it like this, right, Legacy? But what are we going to do instead? I want to paint them. All right, so let's get started. Um, Basha had to put the blue metallic on while I was playing with my little friend, Miss Daisy. Hi, Miss Daisy. Are you in the craft room? She's looking at all the colors on in the craft room. She's probably like, wow. Yes, Miss Legacy had me coat everything with the blue metallic. We will wait for it to dry, and then I'll teach her how to dry brush some green metallic and some yellow, some king's gold on this next layer. Hi, Miss Daisy. Can you put her on your finger? Will she walk on your finger? Aww. 
There she is. She's a little afraid, though. Yeah, she's in a big, beautiful room filled with many colors. It's probably overwhelming for her. Okay, are you going to demonstrate how you dry brush some green on? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you already have some on your brush, and then you blotted it right there. You blot it off, right? Okay, mm -hmm. now show them how you dry brush. So you just take a dab of that, blot it off, and then... Yeah. It's my first time doing it, too. Yeah, you're doing very, very well. Good job. Do the other side. You're just putting in a hit of green against that blue. There you go. You got all sides? Okay, put it I down. I think I did, yeah. Let's see, look at that. It just is a hit. It's beautiful. Okay. I have to do the other side. Yes. The light, the less amount of paint on the brush, the better it is. And then we can just go over it one more time once this layer dries. If you want it more green. We need more green. <laughs> okay, put it down. Let it dry. Looks beautiful. Alright. But then again, it's not my turning hand. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a little bit more green. This is our second time. Okay, here's this one. First of all, put some blot it out. Here you go. There's this one to do now. This is dry brushing. Beautiful. It almost looks like a mermaid. Yes, mermaid color. Now she's working with the King's Gold. Do it lightly. Brush it lightly. Don't press in it hard. Just brush it across lightly. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now you have the soft stroke. Good job. Okay, just to go over some of the colors so far, we used um, pure pearl descent blue, and then she dry brushed halo blue gold, and then she dry brushed king's gold, and now she says she wants to place candy pink. So there you go, Miss Legacy. Do your first one.
think I did all of them. Wow. Beautiful. Let me pick one up and show in the light what it looks like. Look at that color. It's almost like mercury glass that she achieved. Yeah. You did good. Don't forget the butter dish next. Add a little pink in your butter dish now. Ooh, that turned out pretty. too much. I don't mm. think so. How about the very bottom of the base now? Add some pink to that, just like you did in the other two colors. I think we're going to title know, this. Maybe. I think, mm. okay, but blot it out first. Get some more pink and blot it really good. There you go. Lightly. There you go. I think we're going to title this Mercury Glass Design. Bye, Miss Legacy. Your mom, your mom loves mercury glass. Maybe give it to mom. Uh, she... I, I'm thinking this is who it's for. Maybe it's your mama. <laughs> if it only had pink in it, I mean like purple. purple that's <gasps> our favorite color. That'll be our last layer. We can add purple. We have to wait for the pink to dry. That is our favorite color. Okay, we'll add purple and then we'll be done. Where's okay, the we are opening up our metallic because there is a hint of gold in this. This is really a pretty color. And she wants to use, this is called, oh, halo violet gold. That's why there is gold in it because it's called halo. Okay, she's placing that as her final. Here's the one. Here's the one I did, because I just show, showed her how to do the last one. She was just testing out the color. Yeah, testing out the color. So you have the next pieces to do, and then these can dry. Beautiful. Beautiful. Your mother's not going to believe that you painted this. And I'm going to say... Mother loves purple. And That's you know what I'm going to say? We have proof you did on video, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bring okay, the brush camera. It, brush it lightly. Lightly. Bring the camera. 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 Beautiful. I'll place them over here because we're going to spray coat these. Okay, dot, drap. There you go. Dab it really good. Not hard. Just keep dabbing it. Okay. Don't forget to get a little bit up on the top here on the rim. Even though we're going to place ribbon on it, just get a little bit of purple up there. Did I forget this side? Place it over there. And here's your butter dish. Oh, that looks nice. Yes. See all the different colors? Okay. And then, of course, this one. Our final one. Should we paint those? No. Beautiful. All righty. Okay, we brought our items outside and we're going to use Mod Podge Gloss Acrylic Sealer to seal this paint. 
before we do anything else. So, Miss Legacy, remember you have to stay far back. I don't know, up here. Spray that one, that one, that one, and that one real quick. There you go. Bring it across like this. There you go. Okay, stop. All right, now we're going to have to go around. Let's move this. And you have to get over on that side and then spray it like you just did. Move it around. All right. Good job. And yes, look what the color looks like out here in the sun. It's turned out beautiful. Here, let me finish it for you. And that way we're out here and you don't inhale this. Right? Flies around the world. Make the world stink. <laughs> Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's let this dry for about an hour and we'll bring it in. You don't have to blow on it. The sun will dry it. Sun's pretty. It's a beautiful March day. Sun's pretty bright. This will protect the paint for many years to come. So you're going to give this to your mom, right? Yeah. Well, we have to protect your artwork. Look who's out in the catio. It's Tortellini. Are you getting some sunshine? Huh? Going to build a catio this summer. You're going to take over this entire debt. You and Sake and Claudia. Decided to get on your coat, huh? Uh huh. It's a little cold out here, isn't yep. it? In your boots. Mm-hmm. Brown's really cold. Oh, Tartalini. froze my toes. Tartalini went in. I'm going to check to see if there's buds on my tree. Oh, you're going to look for buds? Yeah. Okay. We have a lot to do on the deck this summer, this spring. Got a lot to do. Gonna give it to the cats. Wow. Here's an update. I see a bud. Here in March. I see a bud. Look at the bud. Oh, I have to fix something. What's the fix? Right there, my windmill. Why? The screw came off. I have to find the screw. It's probably down there on the ground somewhere. I'll go get the screwdriver and see if it's magnet. If you want me to. Did you find any buds on the tree? Oh, look at that. This is an Aww, apple tree. Your apple tree is going to survive. Fine. The screw to the blade. Worth a darn in this. I don't know. I'm going to have to go in the garage and see if I have an extra one. This is not going to spin with a broken blade. This blade needs a screw on it. Where the heck did that screw go? Oh well. So what happens when it goes through all kinds of weather and wind and snow and rain. It's a test trial for our ceiling fans this year. Let's see if they last here in Michigan weather. Oh wait a minute. Oh my goodness I found it. Alright. <laughs> Guess what? I found it Legacy. Now we can go and get the screwdriver fix this. Well, luckily we came outside to Maj Podge our project because if this would have went on any longer with it, uh, having a screw loose this whole entire project 
but the ceiling fan converted into a flower would have broke in the next big windstorm. But now I went around and tightened every bolt. So she's ready. Okay, Legacy, let's go see if our project is dry and bring it in the house. Okay, we're back in the house and we need to glue the salt and pepper shaker tops on this. Now, if we were to do this, they would both not lay flat because there's a little ridge right here. So what we decided to do is stagger it in a zigzag pattern like this. Alrighty. And what we're going to use fabric tack. is fabric tack. And I have to use it because this is for adults only. So I'll add some fabric tack and then we'll take it from there. Here's all messed up. You just came from outside. She got into the craft stash and she found, of course, this beautiful ribbon. And of course, look at that. It matches her paint color. She placed it around the top of the salt shaker. And now, what do you want to do next, Miss Legacy? Add a little butterfly. Okay. From the Dollar mistake. Tree. Yeah, plate. Yeah, cover up the... Okay. Put dab, your glue down. Dab. Alright, that's enough. And then a little bit of this. Because this is hot, so I'll do this for you. Alright, let's get another one. And that do it. Right. That's why it's hot. Yeah, this is hot glue. That I didn't put it on low for you. So Up you on. add the glue, and then I'll just place the... Alright, go ahead. Mom's going to love this. Of course. I like it myself. Can I keep it? No, it's oh, mommy. <laughs> that's not fair. Okay, wait a minute. Let me get... Mom doesn't get enough gifts. All right. And these butterfly gems are from the Dollar Tree, so you can pick these up at the Dollar Tree. That's so much. Pull it away really fast so you get rid of the glue hair. Okay. I think that is so pretty. The pink highlights some of the pink in your paint. The purple highlights the purple. It's too bad you didn't find a green one. Do we have a green one in here? I don't know. Because that would really be... I can get another cookie tin. No, because I put all the butterflies in this one. Then we have a big eyeball. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, here's one. Here's Beautiful. one. Oh, this is going to look cute. We have a green. All right, let's do this last one with the green one. But where's the other butterfly? We already put it on there. But we have we can put one on your butter dish part yet. Okay, right there. A little bit more. Okay, that's a good dab. All right, let me place this green one on there. It's so pretty. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. We're working close together because this is where the hot glue gun is plugged in. Okay, so I'm going to go back and kind of press on it all. And then we'll press on this one. You can place that glue gun back down on the glue gun stand. I just want to make sure it's all pressed on there because we didn't use fabric tack. We used hot glue. Wow. All right, you go across over there now, and then you can start assembling. Alrighty, are you ready to assemble? Yep. All right. Okay, 
Okay, that looks really pretty. Now add your florals. However you want, right? Right. You wanted the white baby's breath, or you wanted the blue. That's the one that you didn't trim. Oh, okay, yeah. Here's one I trimmed. We've got a yellow. There you go. Make sure you bring up all the leaves to the top. There you go. Boy, that's beautiful. And here's your last bushel. Try to bring this leaf all the way up to the top there, okay? Beautiful. I didn't even know what you were making, Basha. But this is a well surprise. This is beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Seriously, I didn't know what she was making. <laughs> but now you do, don't you? And yep. it's so easy, even a kid can do it, right? Yep, but Spin. it takes time. It does take time because we're going through the layering process and then we have to wait for it to dry. We have to wait for the glue to adhere. And then, of course, we have to mod podge and allow that to dry. But in the end, look at that. Give you an A-plus today in arts and crafts. Well, let's sign off and let's say thanks for stopping in. Hit the like and subscribe button. Bye. Bye. Your mom's going to love this. Happy Easter, Mom. Or Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Right? Could be for Mother's Day, too. Happy Mother Easter Day. <laughs> Mother's... Mother's Seed Day. Mother's Seed Day.